Hey there, my darlings. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and supporting. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. So we have something that's being made fair. There's some type of justice that's being brought into a situation in order for someone to be able to move forward. And you're showing up here initially as a queen of swords. There is something you are doing that is exposing the truth. You could be either speaking out. You may have sent a message, some type of letter, a voicemail, something. Something you did had has exposed the truth to someone and there is action being taken to bring things back into balance. There could have been an action taken in the past by someone or a group of people, an institution, to cause you some type of loss. And this is where the balance is being brought into place. So you may have ended up losing a job losing a home, losing your finances. There is some type of instability that you are experiencing or did experience and that is being corrected. You can expect to receive some type of message um, due to judgment being brought into this situation. And there could, be, there could be a message coming in from spirit, from a judge, a court. There's something that's being made right, but you can expect to receive some type of message. Um, you could just be waiting right now. You're you're living in expectation, so you know something is going to be brought into balance. You just do not know when, to, when right? But you can expect to be receiving a message from someone. Um, whatever this is, it's going to lead to success for you. It's going to help you uh, nurture something that you are working on or be able to move forward in life. There could be some type of inheritance that was stolen from you. This could have been like a spiritual inheritance, like something was meant for you, but someone did something to prevent you from receiving it. And this is where the correction is being brought back into place, where you will be receiving your inheritance evidence um, so that you can live in abundance and things like that. As you can see, after the nine of pentacles, you're showing up here as an empress, right? You're showing up as the empress. So whatever this is that's been given back to you is your birthright. This is your abundance in life. There is something here also that's been told to me about your character. There has been something reviewed about your true character. So this is letting me know that in the past, someone may have slandered your character and printed you out to be something that you were not. So with the seven of wands being out here, this is letting me know that the truth has been exposed about your character. You are someone with high moral standards, right? You do what's right. You stand up for what is right, um, right? Lord Jesus, if I say right one more time. <laughs> Um, however, with the justice card out here, the judgment card and the seven of wands out here, this is letting me know that there are some legalities going on. There's something going on in court with someone. There could be a case going on that maybe you're not aware of, or there is a case going on with someone that is in regards to you, but you're not aware of it. Or there could be some type of meeting going on with a group of people, um, in regards to the situation that pertain pertains to you. Um, things things are being seen from a higher perspective. Someone has been made to see things from a higher perspective or they have made the choice to separate themselves from a group of people that are just extremely malicious and are into some type of dark work. There's an institution here that is into some type of work that is meant to cause other people losses. And unfortunately, you may have been one of their people. This is the people that go out of their way to take from people, block them and things like that so that you can end up meeting them. And this is how they end up having control of people. They, this is an institution of people that are involved in magic, right? With the magician card being out here, this is letting me know that these are people that practice some form of magic um, but for some reason, the magic that they did on you did not work. Uh, you're still showing up out here as yourself. You held to your morals. You stood firm in your character, in yourself, right? So they haven't been able to break you. This is something where like a group of people get together, try to put, uh, break your mental, uh, try to slander your character. Um, by them doing this, People start to distance themselves from you. This is like people going out of their way to do some type of smear campaign. They may even reach out to your families and friends and see which one of those people are willing to turn against you for a little bit of change, not realizing that they are just accumulating karma in the end and uh, uh, causing some, some type of curse or putting a curse on their lineage in the long run, right? So this is what that is. But somehow this institution has not been able to break you 
or do anything to you. And this is because you're someone that is of the light. Okay. Um, so we have something going on with courts, as I mentioned here. Uh, you can expect for this to go in your favor if you are the one that this case pertains to or whoever this case pertains to in court, it is going to go in your favor. You're going to come out of here with some type of investment, right? Um, and I mean this as in you're going to receive some type of financial payout um, from this situation, this court case, um, whether you are involved in it or not, something is going to be given to you that is going to enable you to take charge of your life, right? To make, um, uh, you know, to take charge of your life so you can move forward. There is a decision being made. As you see, we have the lover's card out here. Um, there is a decision being made about this, this situation um, because the truth has been revealed about your character. There is a masculine that would like to invest in you as well. This is someone that is seeing you as extremely hardworking, very dedicated to your craft or whatever it is you are doing. So they are in interested in you. They want to work with you. Um, I just love how you are showing up here in all these different energies. This means that you're more than likely all of the queens in the deck, right? You have all of the characteristics of the queen in of the queens in the deck, um, and you're showing up as an empress as well. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, there could have been a choice made not only in court but something something in love as well because i see the four of wands out here this is letting me know that someone is interested in being with you as well they want to have success with you 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 may end up getting married to this person um uh, working with this per person just building a beautiful empire with this person as well this is someone that is going through some type of change all right this is someone that used to live in toxicity uh, a karmic lifestyle and things like that and there is some type of influence you had on this person that is enabling them to change their mind right you're like this person guiding light um and you're not doing this on your own this is the work of source the universe and things like that they, they're helping you help this person right so you just being you is helping this person get out of this toxic mindset okay so we have the um the star car out here as you can see so yes absolutely you are someone that is divinely guided you're a visionary you're someone just re re really special you help someone see the truth within a situation um not too long ago or recently or maybe this is what's coming up for some of you you help them see the truth you're showing up here as the star as the empress as the queen of wands as the Queen of Swords, nothing can get past you. And you have the audacity to have moral character, to have a good character. Lord Jesus, honey, people don't know what to make of you. You may be someone that causes a lot of envy and you don't do it on purpose. This is just who you are naturally because you're showing up as someone that is well-rounded. You're not just beautiful. You are smart. You're hardworking. You're committed to work and life. And this is something extremely beautiful to have about yourself. And people may be intimidated by this. This could have been why people would have grouped up together to take you down, but were unsuccessful in doing this. So you and this person coming together is going to lead to a union. Whether this is a union for work, romance, it's going to be successful. You two will be manifesting something together right the both of you are showing up as uh the page of pentacles because you two know the importance of nurturing what it is that you want um in life right so you plant your seeds you will nurture it you will water it all of that right you know how to manifest um very well you're someone that is a gifted manifester a powerful manifester the both of you um something i'm hearing about your partner is that they have some type of influence in the physical world you on the other hand you have influence in the spiritual realm so it's like someone having power in the physical you have power in the in the spiritual and you two are coming together so you're in so symbolically you're bringing two worlds together this person is coming from the dark you're coming from the light again again you're bringing two worlds together you're bringing balance this is like yang and yin uh yang and yin uh you know the good and bad happy and sad light and dark you two are bringing those things together bringing balance right within this union or collaboration coming together as you can see here 
we have the justice, the judgment, the seven of wands, and the hanging man out here. This is beautiful. It's showing you progress. Pro it's progressive. Um, it's a progressive display of someone seeing something for what it is in the progression of this situation, right? The justice card starting out, which means that there has been efforts made or efforts being made to bring balance into a situation to make something fair. Um, uh, the truth being spoken out, you could have been the ones picking out the truth. This could have been someone else speaking the truth about who you really are as a person. Um, and this is helping someone separate themselves from a group of people that now are being seen for exactly who they are. And these could have been people that this person were, was friends with for a very long time, but this person is going through some type of spiritual change, right? They are going through an ascension. Now we have the Magician, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the Star card out here. This has to do with the progression of this masculine right this is someone that's coming from a background of magic being done on them and things like that but this person is using their own inner strength mental strength and things like that all of the resources available to them they're using all of this to take charge of their life and move forward and continue to invest in themselves this is someone that is business minded this is someone that has a lot of different streams of income different businesses um and this person is interested in starting another business with you working with you and it's going to lead to marriage so this is why we have the Knight of Pentacles out here because this person wants to give to you the star energy. Um, the fact that the star is also below the Knight of Pentacles means that this person is going through an ascension or going through an awakening. This could have been like a fallen angel or something like that, which is why we have the star card coming after that Knight of Pentacles. Someone is remembering who they are or they are getting a little bit more acquainted with who they are or who they never knew that they were. Someone is finding the truth out about themselves well now we have the queen of swords out here the knight of the nine of pentacles the queen of wands and the four of wands okay so you are going through a progression yourself as you as you can see right so you have all of these beautiful qualities of all the queens in the deck and you are showing up as each person for each each um part of this story you started off as a queen of swords telling your truth not having time for nonsense someone is watching you on social media in some way shape or form if you have a public platform or someone is just keeping an eye on you through family and friends and things like that so you're starting off as the queen of wands you don't take bs from anyone you are working towards your abundance and things like that you're living in your truth you're not looking for handouts from people right Someone see you as extremely independent, right? Someone very practical, someone very uh, just well taken care of. You take very good care of yourself is how someone is seeing you. This abundance that you are going to receive, this payout, whatever it is, is going to put you in your queen of wands energy. So you're going to be taking charge of your life. Someone sees you as extremely beautiful. Uh, someone admires you. They know that you are very grounded down to earth. You're someone very noble, basically, is what this person is seeing. Um, and they want to have a union with you. Uh, it's going to start off as a fr like a friendship. Um, and then it's going to mature into something else, right? And it's going to lead into marriage. Now, as you can see, we have the Five of Pentacles out here, the Empress, um, the Lovers, and the Page of Pentacles. You are either in or were in some type of situation where you were living, you know, from paycheck to paycheck, or you had some type of brand new, fresh start coming in. You're choosing to walk through a brand new door in your life, right? You didn't, you did not let the actions of these people hold you back. Um, you decided to move forward regardless of what was going on, and this is how we're supposed to be in life, anyways. Um, the choice you made put you in your empress energy because you didn't let your hardships hold you back, and this is what makes us these empresses, right? When we can endure all of these things that people throw at us, the world throw at, at us, and we stick to our path and things like that, we're not out here being malicious to people, taking from people, stealing, and things like that. We're not out here pulling tricks and things like that. We don't have to announce that we are an empress. Our experience in life will solidify our place as an empress, so we never have to announce that, right? Um, because of all of this, 
you were chosen you were the, the right choice for this person to make to give this opportunity to this is why the page of pentacles is showing up here as well because someone chose you they made a decision to go with you they were <clears throat> there's also someone in this person's life that encouraged them to give you this opportunity because they see you for exactly who you are this person could have gone to some type of practitioner as well to get a reading on you um, and I don't think it was supposed to be in like a malicious way. It was just like this person wanted to find out the truth about you. Okay. So that is your read. I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching as always. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.